Right? Are we all in solidarity? My name is Micaiah. I was a Marine from 2001 April to May 2009. I deployed to Iraq during the same period that Scott Olson did, and much like him, I was radicalized by my experience in the Marines and at war. Like him, I saw firsthand the imperialist the imperialism of our country. I saw how it is perfectly okay for our federal government to occupy two foreign nations. How it's perfectly okay for us to kill 900,000 people in 10 years. And like Scott Olson, myself, and the members of IBAW, Iraqi Veterans Against the War, which are standing in the back right there, along with Veterans for Peace, are exercising our First Amendment rights to peacefully assemble and to inform the public as to the deeds that our country continues to do day after day after day. Scott Olson stood for something. Scott Olson stood for truth. And he was brutalized by a police officer in Oakland. He was shot at point blank. That means within 10 feet with a gas canister to the face. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Us veterans do not have to deal with police violence on a day-to-day -day basis. And it took that incident to wake us up to the reality that happens all over the country today. The African American community knows exactly what I'm talking about. The Hispanic community knows exactly what I'm talking about. The labor community knows exactly what I'm talking about. But it finally happened to the veterans, and the veterans were not going to stand for it. In every city, we are going to have solidarity marches with Scott Olson. And we are going to stand with every community that has been brutalized by police departments in every town and city. And we're going to send them a clear and concise message that we don't play that game. That we will take the streets, that we will march, we will exercise our First Amendment rights, and we will do it peacefully. But we will not be brutalized. Thank you very much.